Hey everybody, this is Mr. Phil from Alabama Hot Sauce. That's alabamahotsauce.com on the web. Today I'm filming the first video that's going to go on a playlist on my YouTube site called Tips, Tools, and Tricks. This is going to be a place where I make two, three, four minute long videos. They're going to explain to you how to do some things that I routinely do and don't talk about an awful lot when you see me making hot sauce on my videos. Today, we're going to do something pretty interesting. We're going to take this brand new mortar and pestle, and I'm going to show you how to clean this and get it ready for, to put in service in your kitchen. I'm going to tell you, these never come from the factory ready to use, no matter what the instructions say. They always come with grit and dirt in them. The way they're ground, the inside surface has to be left rough, because this device is used for pounding, for grinding, and so the surfaces have to be rough. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to take this little pan of water I've got here, and this dedicated nylon brush. I don't do anything with this brush but clean the mortar and pestle. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to clean this thing up pretty good. I'll stick my pestle in the water and get it wet. I got a little uh, bowl of rice here, dry rice. I'm going to put just a little bit of rice in it, and I'm going to start grinding. Now, I'll also, I think, put just a touch of water. There you go. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm grinding this rice all along all the surfaces of this mortar. It's simultaneously cleaning the end of the pestle. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all the dust, the stone fragments, out of the scratches inside this thing. And to do that, we're just going to grind them out. And nothing does it much better than dry rice. So we're going to grind, grind this rice down into almost a paste. I can tell you, I can see it already gathering up the dust. It's, the rice is looking a little gray. It's no longer snow white like it was. So I'm going to come over here to the bowl. And I'm going to rinse this out. Get all the rice out of it, all the sand, all the stone residue that's in there out. Get this thing just as clean as we can get it. And then I'm going to do it a second time. So we add some rice in the bowl, in the mortar, that's what the bowl's called. That's the mortar, that's the pestle. We add some rice in there and we start grinding. Now I will tell you, using a mortar and pestle is great for cracking or grinding peppercorns. It's great for pulverizing garlic if you need to before you put it in a recipe. It's fabulous for breaking up cardamom seeds. It can be used to Pound, and it can be used to grind. In Mexico, where these things were the latest place they were discovered, this is called a mojete. And so they call this thing a mojete. Devices like this have been around since the Stone Ages. I imagine one of the first things that humans discovered they needed to do when they developed tools is they had to have a way to break down food. And I'm pretty sure it started by laying one rock on the ground, putting the food on it, and pounding it with another rock. We're just doing the same thing, but we're doing it in 2022 style. This rice is looking really clean and white. That's a good sign. It means no more sand and grit is coming off in this rice. So we're going to wash it off. You will hear people talk about this and call this seasoning. But we're not actually seasoning it in the manner we think about that when we think about seasoning a pan or seasoning cast iron. What we're really just doing is cleaning and conditioning it. We're getting everything that's loose out of there because we don't want the loose stuff going in our food. And so it's not really conditioning. We're not putting any flavor. We're not putting any coating in it. We're not trying to 
stop anything from happening other than we want to stop the sand and stone from coming out. That's pretty clean. So I'm going to take my towel and I'm going to dry this really good. Now I want to point out to you that when you clean this, and it will need to be cleaned from time to time, you never put any soap, you never put any detergent, you never put anything like 409. The only thing you ever wash this with is fresh water. And if you need to clean out the inside, you do it with white rice. That's the best way to get this thing cleaned out. But you got to remember, folks, don't put anything in this. This brush that I've got here is used only for cleaning things that are cleaned purely with water. My chef knives, my mortar and pestles, I got a couple of them. I don't use it for anything else because you don't want to get any detergent on this brush, cleaning the pot or pan or anything like that, and transfer it into your, your uh, mortar. So we got it good and clean here. This thing is ready to be used on, uh, on our kitchen. It's ready to sit by us if we need it for grinding, for pounding, for pulverizing. It's always right there. Appreciate you joining me today. Really like it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments of this video. If you have any ideas about things you would like to know how to do, just let me know. Put your question in the, in the comments and I'll make sure to answer it. Thank you folks for joining me as I showed you how to clean and condition your mozzetti or your mortar and pestle. Again, I appreciate it and we'll see you next time.